Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be installing a BR rev limiter on our VY Ecotech here. We have a real BR and we also have a eBay spec BR. And the reason we have got this is to just compare and show you how the, ge the genuine ones work a lot better than the fake ones. If you don't know what a BR rev limiter is, it is essentially a module that reads the RPM and at a desired RPM, which you can set with these little dials here, at that RPM, it'll cut all the spark out. Um, and basically, if you still got fuel going through the car, then on limiter, it'll shoot flames and backfire and pop and things like that. Um, just a bit of a fun little project we're doing. We're gonna go through it, show you how to wire it up, and then we'll do some testing at the end of the video. Enjoy. All right, guys, so today we'll be showing you the wires you need. We've just cut it out of here. It runs down to your DFI module. So we've got a light blue and white. That is your 3x signal from the crank angle sensor. Right, and then we have the blue and yellow, which is 18x. And these two will get wired to your BR on the green and the yellow wire. So your 18x one, which is this one, will go to the green wire. And then the white and blue, which is your 3x, will go to the yellow wire. Um, we'll be back in a minute once we've joined these wires and show you. just seen us wire that in on a time lapse so that's 18 and 3x wired in now we've got to do the power for just we're just doing this for demonstration purposes today so i'm just going to wire this directly to the battery and we'll put you back on time lapse to see that we've just um put some power to this loom i went through earlier and pinned on a six pin plug just to make swapping the units over a bit easier just for demonstration purposes you know so we've got a six pin plug on the real BR and then we also have put a six pin plug on the fake BR so that way you know none of the wiring changes it's unplug one plug the other in and we'll show you the results so we have the fake one wired up um, we have it set to zero and again set to F. So as you can see it's clearly picking up the RPM but it's not even cutting spark at all. So the fake one is actually not even working at all and it is wired correctly. We'll prove that by switching over to the real BR right now. Oh, as you can see both pinouts are the same on both BRs. So you can't say that we've wired the pins in wrong, they're identical. And we put the real BR on, and it's got the same settings except the RPM is set, which is the red one. The RPM is set higher. Yeah. Now we'll see what it sounds like from the back. This is with cats, full exhaust, muffler, everything. There's nothing changed. Alright guys, so we weren't impressed that the fake BR didn't work, so I decided to pull it apart and we did find a wire pulled out of the, one of the pins and the plug that connects it internally. So we're going to put that back together and hope you know, we can actually get some sort of result from the BR, the fake BR, and we'll get back to you shortly. So we're going to try the eBay BR again after fixing that wire that was broken already. See what it does now. That is gain absolute maximum. 
Um, so you cannot make it any better. Let's go to the back and see how it compares. There you have it, fake BR is a pile of crap. And if you look at this, I think it just triggered an engine light. Oh yeah. All right, so we actually figured out that the gain switch is backwards on this. So one is F and F is one. So this is now on the maximum. Go around the back, see what it sounds like. So as a bonus uh, to this video, I'll show you how to set the gain and the rev limiter. So the red dial is the RPM and the white one is the RPM for the handbrake only. So if you've got the handbrake set, you would set your RPM based on this one. Uh, it starts at zero, which is 2,500 RPM, and every increment of one is another 500 RPM after. So one would be 3,000, for example. The gain is how frequent the cut is. So usually you want that on F, so you have the most frequent cut. If you can lower it if you want, but that may cause check engine lights and will cause a slower limiter. So I've just got home now and I thought I'd explain a few things from today's video. Uh, one, we're using a genuine Type B BR. Um, the link will be in the description for them. Two, the reason we didn't get flames and big pops, we did get some pops, but the camera didn't do that good of a job picking it up, is because we have a full exhaust system with CAT and we even had like the standard muffler and stuff on it. So it really muffles it and does not sound great. We will leave you at the end of this video with a few videos of our own and some videos that have been sent in of people that have put BRs on less restrictive exhaust systems and they shoot big flames and they have loud pops. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and stick around and hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>